plaintiff, Leon McLean Sr., has known the defendant for over 30 years. And when she was 17, he took her and her child into his home. Leon claims he put his name on a bank account for the defendant, but she overdrew the account. And money was taken from Leon's account to cover the missing funds, so he's suing. Defendant Yolanda McSwain says she's been fighting a heroin addiction her entire life and she is still using heroin to this day. Yolanda insists her drug dealer forced her at gunpoint to take money out of her account, and therefore, she should not be held responsible. Start with you. I've been known her for over, Yolanda McSwain, for over a period of 30 years, her and her family. At the age of 17, I took her in, her and her child. She had a baby of six months. Mm -hmm. So I took them in into my household. She had hard times with her father, her mother. What relationship did you have with her uh, folks? Well, I know the mother was all right, but the father, mm. he was a drug addict. And, uh, the mother wasn't? Not that I know of. OK. All right. You want to give me some background? Well, Your Honor, I've been fighting a uh, heroin addiction practically all my life. You know, my At dad. At 17, did you, had you been? Yes, sir. I had my daughter, but I didn't do drugs when I was pregnant with my daughter. I know, but by that time in life, you yes, and were, you were it's been, troubled. You, know, you were a troubled youth on drugs. Yes, sir. All right, pretty much makes sense. And um, I've been fighting heroin addiction. Right now, I'm still fighting heroin addiction. Okay, I don't shoot up. I snort it, and um, it's just been a factor in my life. You know what I'm saying? I I did graduate out of eighth grade, but then I went to high school. I got kicked out. Basically, I could have turned away from the drugs. I could have said no, but at the time, that's what everybody was doing, and that's what I did, you know? And I know I do need help. I do know that, so. Good. Have you been to uh, rehab? Yes, I was in Arizona. I, was in, I wasn't really in the rehab. I was in a detox center. For how long? Uh, for like, they, I, only, they only still, I only stayed for like seven days. Mm -hmm. Then I came back to Chicago and mm -hmm. bam. Back yeah, on it. Seven day detox doesn't yeah. do any good. No, it don't. It didn't do uh, good at all. And but you've never been in an inpatient for at least ninety days. Or? No, sir, never. Have you ever sought treatment or inpatient rehab? Oh, not really, sir. Are right. you willing to do it? Yes, sir. All right. So if we help you get in one, you'll go. Yes, sir. Right, I we're will. definitely gonna get you in. One. Plaintiff Leon McLean Sr. is suing his former friend, and she admits that she's been a heroin addict her entire life, and she still uses to this day. What happened here with the money you're suing her for? She come back up to Chicago, and I had set up an account where she had money, you know. But in order to open this account up, I had to put my name on the account, and I had several other accounts, you know, with the same How bank. How much money did you put in this account? Uh, her. she has seven thousand dollars. I deposited. You put in there. seven thousand dollars in an account for her. It was her money. Well, from where? Uh, uh from a settlement that she had got. Okay. So I made arrangements where she can go. Mm -hmm. They gave her ATM card and uh, some checks. She come up back up to Chicago, ran through that there, and by me having other accounts with the bank. When she went overboard with it, you know, one one of the spinning streaks for drugs or heroin or whatever, I don't know. They went into my account to replace the money that she had uh, used. And, so and how that much told was that? 5200 Okay. And that's what they took from your account? Yes. Ma'am? Your Honor, I did not take the money. I owed the guy, this drug dealer that I got the heroin from, I owed him some money, okay? And I was coming out of my daughter's apartment and I seen him. He had a gun on him and he said, do you have my money? I said, no, I don't have it, but I'll get it. And he, I, then he said, no, nah, you're gonna get my money right now. I said, but I don't have the money right now. So him and his girlfriend, they opened the car door. He said, do you still got a bank account? And I said, yes. He said, do you still got How a bank account? How do you know about your bank account? Because I got, I got drugs and stuff from it. But I know. But how do you know but you I had a bank account? But I told him about my bank account. I said Why? I had to go dumb, stupid, I guess. OK. You told him one time, I got $7,000 yes. in the bank account. No, I didn't tell him. <laughs> no, I didn't tell okay. him it was 7000 Finish the story, ma'am. OK. <laughs> OK, so anyway, they got me in the car. He had a gun. So I went to the bank. He said, <clears> do you still got the debit card? I said, yes, I got it. 
So he said when we go in here, he had the gun on him. When he went into the bank, he had the gun on him. And he took my debit card. He went and took his money. I mm -hmm. didn't. I never did take the money. You gave him the uh, ATM I gave him ATM. All I did was gave him number? the ATM card and the mm -hmm. PIN number. I, didn't, I did not mm -hmm. cash any checks. They forged my name. I didn't mm -hmm. cash no checks or nothing. Forged your name. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. And $5,000 is what they took from That's the what ATM. they took, but it's because uh -huh. of me that did happen. Did you come back and tell him? I told him, but he didn't believe me. Why? Because of my track record. Did you tell the police after the gun had been put to your head? No, not after the gun had been put to my head okay. because Why I was not? scared. I was scared, scared because he was, I was just scared. The guy was crazy. I had no business getting involved with him anyway, Your Honor. Know, that but, was my fault. I was mm -hmm. just scared, stupid, scared, just wanted to get off But you told him away. immediately. Yes, I did tell him. Immediately? No, not immediately. Why? Why didn't you tell him? I did not know they had went and took the money uh -huh. right away. But I didn't know mm -hmm. that until he called me and told right me. Right away. You knew they were going to take it. Yeah, yes, I right. did. Right. So whether they took it right away or not. You see what dope fiend stories do? I'm yeah. calling you that because you're not ready yet. When you come back after having rehabilitated, yes, then sir. I'll call you a recovering addict. But okay. you just gave me a dope fiend story. That's the I've truth. heard this a thousand times. That's a dope fiend story. You're acting like a dope fiend. Go to rehab like we're going to send you, then come back and tell the truth. In the meantime, judgment for the plaintiff, sir. And I know I'm not being compassionate because you're not being honest. You insulted my game. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I just want him to let him know that I'm sorry for my stupidity that this happened. Well, I'm glad this is solved and uh, that she get the help she needs.